welcome to my vlog. Today I am traveling from Juba to Entebbe in Uganda for my R&R and &R and i am traveling via Uganda Airlines. The pilot has just announced that we are actually traveling over the Great Lakes. So this is probably Lake Victoria. I may be wrong because this is my first time in Uganda, but if it is, please um, please hit the like button. If it's not, tell me where are we right now? This is a very cute DHL plane. It just reminds me of the planes we used to take in Vanuatu. Upon arrival in Uganda, you will be swapped again. Before you fly in, register at arrivals.healthdesk.go.ug. If not, they will give you Wi-Fi access so you could actually register online at the airport. And the test is 30 USD. You could use your credit card at the airport. You could pay in cash as well and in that same tent you could get your USD exchanged to Ugandan shillings. One USD is 3,400 Ugandan shillings. Now we're done, let's go pay and get swab. I am now a Ugandan millionaire. This is 1 million Ugandan shillings and it is equal to 300 USD. I tried different ATM machines for my BPI card and my card was only accepted at Stanbic Bank. So I'm a millionaire. This is 1 million Ugandan shillings. Here I am waiting for my MTN Ugandan SIM card to be activated. The SIM card plus 3 MB of data was 30,000 Ugandan shilling. To get to Kampala or anywhere in Uganda from the airport, you have different options. But this is my first time in Kampala. No one is meeting me at the airport, so my safest choice was to get an Uber or an airport taxi. Uber was 128,000 Ugandan shillings, but the airport taxi was 100,000 Ugandan shillings. So I figured I'll just go and get the airport taxi and give the 28,000 Ugandan shillings as tip. What I really like about this ride in the expressway was how green everything was, how clean everything was. It's not like this in the Philippines and the beautiful brick houses along the road. It's a very nice, peaceful, smooth and fast ride to the city. It took us one hour but it seemed like it was just a short while. This is my room at Hotel Akasha City It's beautiful. It's clean. It's very roomy. I could do yoga and Zumba and meditate and do whatever I want Hi, it's me Jian and welcome to my vlog. I'm in my hotel room in Hotel Akasha City in Kampala so I have just arrived and this room is around 23 USD per night or around 80,000 Ugandan shillings. But I am not complaining because it looks clean so far and it's huge. I could put my yoga mat on the floor and exercise. I could also do Zumba. There's Wi-Fi, but no Facebook. I don't know why, but I was told by the guy that there is a 200, I don't know, it's USD or 200,000 shillings um, for social media tax. So you have to use a VPN to access your Facebook and other social media. And um, 
let me show you my room and we'll talk more about Uganda in my next video but for now let's do a room tour so this is what my room look like welcome to Uganda so this is bigger than a twin bed I don't know what to call it queen sized maybe and of course there is a mosquito net because malaria is real and this is my view outside you could hear road traffic but it doesn't bother me got a bedside table in juba if you open the hotel drawer like this they would have condoms here so no condoms here and the closet mm. it's not dusty it just looks dusty but it's clean and there is no ac no no air conditioning but there's a fan and yeah i've looked at a lot of different hotels and places to stay in not not the high not the expensive ones you know just the ones that cost around 20 to 25 usd and all of them don't have an air conditioning unit and this is a the shower room, the restroom, the toilet, it's roomy, it's huge, I love it, so yeah, hello, 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 yep, um, it looks better in real life than in a video or picture so I live in the tent most of the year and this is a luxury I am NOT complaining this is already good for me for 23 USD nope I'm not complaining it's a good deal for me and they have a restaurant outside and the Acacia mall is just right across the street so when I come back from Jinja, I think I will still be staying here. And if you want to know um, some tips um, in in like navigating the airport in in Tebe. Uh, it should be like this like number one if you could get your visa from uh, your from from the Ugandan embassy in your country do that or to apply online because when I passed by Juba Airport or when I went through Juba Airport I had some issues I told them Filipinos are allowed um, for visa on arrival, but uh, the ones who are working with Ugandan Airlines say, said no, it has changed, there's no visa on arrival, you have to register online and to do that you have to pay 10,000 pounds, which is like, like 10 USD, I think around 10 USD, so they wanted me to pay that amount. And then once I'm done when I arrived here in Uganda they were like you don't even need to do that you just have to come directly here you were scammed so I don't know anyway so yeah I got scammed 10 US dollars because I was too lazy to go to the Ugandan Embassy or apply for a visa online then Number two, when you arrive at the Ugandan airport, you are going to be swabbed. And swabbing costs 30 USD. You could actually prepay it online 
and I will put the link at the bottom and I'm even going to put a picture here which you could scan and that will link you to the Ministry of Health of Uganda so you know you could skip the lines and just get yourself swabbed uh, number three the exchange for one USD as of today which is January 28 2022 is one dollars is equals to three thousand four hundred three thousand four hundred Ugandan shillings you could do it when you are um, passing through the tent where they are they're um, asking for your payment for the swabbing so there are like a lot of of this huge emergency tents in the airport are they like the field tents and um, there's one tent there where you could get your money exchange for 3400 if you miss that after immigration there's there are also foreign exchange companies there and they will also exchange your money for the same amount now if you don't have usd it's fine there's also an atm machine after uh, the baggage area and um i tried all the different machines and it was stan big bank that actually managed to spit out my money that i wanted the maximum amount is a million ugandan shillings so as of today i'm a millionaire guys i'm a ugandan shilling millionaire and what else you have to download uber to get the ride uber is 128,000, as i've said earlier from Intebi airport to to kampala but um, the airport taxi you could just get it for a hundred thousand you could negotiate it down to a hundred thousand or maybe less you know because I've I've only talked to the guy selling sim cards at MTN and yep and the last tip is uh, if you want to have access to internet wherever you are or you want to call friends if you're lost or whatever then go get uh, the local sim card I always do this get the local sim card have some MBs in it and that's it and I have discovered that as I've said earlier social media is banned in Uganda I'm staying here for two weeks and I think I made a good decision I only opted for the 3 MB package because really like if I use VPN, it's gonna cost me more, right? So I have limited access to social media here. So that's your choice. Should you get a, a card or not? Because, yeah, anyways. So the SIM card plus the MBs for the internet, it was 30,000 shillings. Again, I'm going to put the USD equivalent at the bottom. I'll give you more updates and tricks as I discover uganda for you and if you have the time and money you should come and visit uganda it's a beautiful country my team majority of them are ugandans and they're like the most wonderful people to work with really kind really helpful they're just the best okay bye and i'll see you in my next vlog